Behold my royal subjects, for it is I, your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! Here again with another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. Rejoice! So let's get right into it and check out the board, and let's look at the categories for this episode, starting with aces, and followed by kings, then queens, and then jacks, and last but certainly not least, jokers. And if this is your first time playing, well, welcome in. I certainly appreciate you stopping by. This is not my regular voice or my regular face. I'm just doing that because I'm feeling uh, quite royal today. Ooh, somebody thinks it's a figment of my imagination. <laughs> Anywho, here are the not so extreme rules on your screen right now so you understand exactly how to play this interactive play along trivia competition where you try to score as many points as possible and not lose your head. All right, so let's jump right in and kick things off with the 200 point round, the easiest round in Wrestling Jeopardy. Let's go to Aces for 200. The TNA Wrestling Faction Aces and Eights was built around this co-host of Sirius XM's Busted Open, who took on the role of president for the group. And the correct answer, who is Bully Ray? All right, let's move on now to Kings for 200. Following his victory in the 1994 King of the Ring tournament, this wrestler adopted the nickname of the King of Hearts. The answer here, of course, is Owen Hart. And that brings us to Queens for two. This WWE Hall of Famer was a sensational compliment to Randy Savage's villainous Macho King gimmick. That, of course, is Sensational Sherry Martell. Oh, yeah! <laughs> now that was a cycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're on to Jax for 200. One of the three faces of Mick Foley is this bloodthirsty brawler who hailed from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. And the answer, Mr. Bang Bang himself, Cactus Jack. All right, let's finish off the 200 point round with Jokers. This WWE superstar cosplayed as Heath Ledger's version of the Joker from The Dark Knight for his match against JBL at WrestleMania 25. And the answer we're looking for here is Rey Mysterio Jr. All right, so that does it for the 200 point round. We are moving on to the 400 point round, starting off with aces, commonly referred to on commentary as a human Funko Pop. The Judgment Day's JD McDonough is better known by this nickname. And what the hell is wrong with JD McDonough? Head so big on that little body, he's looking like a Funko Pop. I don't see it. And the correct answer here is, who is the Irish ace? Which brings us to Kings for 400. This wrestler first took the title of King of Wrestling in 1974 after defeating his mentor, Jackie Fargo, for the NWA Southern Heavyweight Championship at the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee. The correct answer, who is Jerry, the King Lawler? Moving on to Queens for 400. This first ever two-time NXT Women's Champion goes by the moniker, the Queen of Spades. The answer we're looking for here, who is Shayna Baszler? We're on to Jax for 400. 
Born Jacob Hager, this former WWE World Heavyweight Champion and All-American American started wrestling at the age of five. That, of course, is Jack Swagger. Wait, you actually call yourself the All-American American? Uh... Do you know how stupid that sounds? That's like me running out there going, The champ is here! Here! And let's close out the 400-point round with Joker's Seth freaking Rollins recreated Joaquin Phoenix's iconic dance scene from the Joker for our commercial spot promoting this premium live event. First off, I think I deserve extra credit for correctly pronouncing Joaquin Phoenix's first name. Whenever I see that, I always want to say Joaquin. <laughs> anyway, the answer here, WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania Goes Hollywood. <laughs> All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go, plus Final Jeopardy, and that Daily Double is somewhere remaining on the board. But first, let's kick off the 600-point round with Aces. Allegedly, this former AEW producer took a bite out of Kenny Omega's arm during the infamous all-out brawl-out between CM Punk and the Elite. And the correct answer here, who is Ace Steel? We're on to Kings for 600. All right, take some time to tally up your score and then make your daily double wager. All right, time is up here. Is this episode's daily double clue? After winning the 2006 King of the Ring tournament, King Buka formed his own royal court, which included Queen Charmel, Sir William Regal, and this wrestler. And that would be Sir Finley. Which brings us to Queens for 600. Charlotte Flair was a two-time state champion, team captain, and player of the year for this sport during her high school career in North Carolina. I don't do it nearly as well as Justin Roberts does, but the answer here we're looking for, what is volleyball? Moving on to Jax for 600, Jerome Young, was a notorious hardcore wrestler, better known by this ring name. That would be New Jack. All right, closing out the 600 point round with Jokers. For a brief time during his tenure in Impact Wrestling, Sting's personality dramatically shifted as he became the insane icon, AKA the Joker Sting, and feuded primarily with this faction. And the answer, that would be, who is immortal? All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go. If you're having as much fun as I am right now, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the ringy dingy notification icon bell so you always get notified whenever we come out with a brand new Wrestling Jeopardy episode which is always every weekend, specifically on Saturdays. Well, you know something? Let's just say, game on! All right, let's hop back in, kick off the 800-point round with Aces. Before he created People Power, Johnny Ace, a.k.a. John Laurinaitis, is credited with inventing this wrestling maneuver. Now, Big Johnny called this move the Ace Crusher, but we all know it as the Cutter. If you don't got it, get it. If you don't get it, figure it out. Yeah! All right, that brings us to Kings for 800. 
Paul Triple H Levesque has leaned into his King of Kings nickname for several special WrestleMania entrances, including when he debuted the Skull King at this WrestleMania. Yes, for his match with The Undertaker, coming out to For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica, this occurred at WrestleMania 27. Moving on to Queens for 800, this WWE superstar won the inaugural Queens Crown Tournament in 2021. And the correct answer here is the lovely and talented Zelina Vega. All right, let's hit the road, Jack, for 800. AEW wrestler Jack Perry, also known as Jungle Boy, is the son of this late Beverly Hills 90210 actor. And that would be the late, great Luke Perry. Pleasure to have you here. Dylan, Thank I you. love you. Whoa. That's why we're doing this on Skype. Yeah. All right, and let's close out the 800-point round with Joker's maniac Matt Bourne, who played the original Doink the Clown character, participated in the inaugural WrestleMania in a match versus this WWE Hall of Famer. I believe this was the third match on the card, and this was Matt Bourne versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Sensational victory for Ricky Steamboat. All right, we've made it through to the thousand point round, the most difficult round in Wrestling Jeopardy. The steel cage begins to lower, the ominous music begins to play, and let's start it off with Aces for 1,000. One of New Japan Pro Wrestling's top stars since the mid 2000s, Hiroshi Tanahashi is also known by this nickname. What is the ace of the universe? All right, let's close out Kings for 1000. This wrestler is one of a select few who has been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, the WCW Hall of Fame, the NWA Hall of Fame, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame, and the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. One of the best wrestlers on God's green earth. There's not a man on the face of God's green earth. The answer here, who was the King Harley Race? All right, let's close out Queens for a thousand. In February 2024, ECW original Francine took issue with 2K Games promoting this wrestler as the Queen of Extreme for their WWE 2K24 video game. Boy, Francine got all hot and bothered about this tweet that went out claiming that Liv Morgan was the Queen of Extreme. Closing out Jax for a thousand, WWE fans of a certain age surely remember this man as the on-screen WWF president and authority figure from 1984 through 1995. And that would be the man, the myth, the legend, President Jack Tunney. All right, and closing out the board with Jokers for 1,000. In 2014, while performing under the ring name Prince Devitt, Finn Balor took on Zack Sabre Jr. at the Electric Ballroom in London for this wrestling promotion. And the correct answer, what is Progress Wrestling? So how'd you do? Good, bad, ugly? Well, it doesn't matter because now's your chance to bet it all. But first, let's find out the final Jeopardy category, which is Battle Royals. 
With so many arms and legs flailing around, it's easy to get a little bored by the sameness of the action in a battle royal. It doesn't always make for compelling television. Bruh. However, every so often, a 20-person or more jaunt leads to a memorable match in its own right. So get all those battle royals uh, bouncing around in your brain, and then place your wager right now. All right, time is up. Let's go to the final Jeopardy clue. At WrestleMania 17, the WWE Universe bore witness to the one and only gimmick battle royal, which was won by the Iron Sheik after he eliminated this legend. Good luck. At WrestleMania 17, the WWE Universe bore witness to the one and only Gimmick Battle Royal, which was won by the Iron Sheik after he eliminated this legend. This was quite the car crash, but for nostalgia's sake, it was amazing. The final four was Brother Love, Sergeant Slaughter, Hillbilly Jim, and the Iron Sheik. Sarge dumps out Brother Love, and then Sarge gets tipped over, and then Sheiky Baby sneaks up behind the hick from Mudlick, Kentucky, to eliminate him and win the WrestleMania 17 Gimmick Battle Royal. Whew! And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.